Hello, cool artisans. My name is Shonda, and welcome to my channel, Under the Needle. Disregard the rollers. It's wash day. As to what this is going to look like when these rollers come out, I have no idea. I'm experimenting. Uh, we shall see. Um, so, um, just an update on what I've been working on. I did not do very much sewing in the past week. Um, I did do my sew sampler block, so I did do that. Of course, I didn't bring it over here because uh, I forgot again. But I did get um, all of everything paired up for my postcard from Sweden quote. I got like everything paired up. I don't remember if I had that completed when I last spoke with you guys, but um, let me grab that box. Everything in my life is messy, except my active quilt projects. That's always very organized. So I've got all my triangles paired up and ready to be sewn together. And I've gotten the first four rows done. what she's looking like so far. Now, um, oh shoot. it's kind of hard to see the whole thing, but you can kind of get the gist of it. Um, so, yeah, I've got the first four rows done. So I'll probably put them together in rows of five. Um, thanks. I'll probably put them together in rows of five since there are 15 rows total. I'm trying to do one row a day. Over the weekend, I did not really sew at all. Um, my fiance, Adrian, he had gone to Georgia. Sometime when he's away, sometimes when he's away, I just come down here and I basically sew day and night and that's all I friggin' do. Sometimes when he's here, I get a little lonely and a little depressed and I don't want to sew at all. And that's what this weekend was. So instead, I binged watched The Crown. I think I had already watched the first two or three seasons. So I binged watched seasons four and five. Um, season six had not dropped yet. I don't know if it's dropped by now. So I finished that and then I moved on to Succession. And I believe I watched the first season and I think I completed the first season and started the second so that's where I'm at so I had not much sewing for the week so um yeah not much sewing for the week put this away so if I can keep pace with one row a day um I've got four rows done. I should have this done in 11 days. Fingers crossed. Um, what I'm thankful for. I am thankful for men who cook because um, mine is up there barbecuing right now and I'm pretty excited about it. He barbecues, especially now that his job is uh, he's not working like 80 hours a week and he works like a normal 40 hour work schedule like he'll grill like every couple of weeks and if he doesn't grill he'll cook like once or twice a week probably once a week and it's amazing it's great it's great to not have to be the one always cooking so that is what I am grateful for men who cook specifically men who grill um let's see what else is there I said this was going to be quick. I really didn't have a whole lot. I didn't have a whole lot to show you. I didn't have a whole lot of updates. Um, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm grasping. I'm, that's what I'm thankful for. And um, yeah, that's what I've been sewing on this week. Not a whole lot. Four rows. That's it. So, I mean, but it's not bad because there's like 12 half square triangles in each row. So that's 48 half square triangles. So I guess when I look at it that way, uh, it doesn't seem so bad. Using the AccuQuilt definitely, definitely, definitely made this simpler and easier because 
I don't have to square anything. Now, sometimes I'll pick pick up two, pick up two uh, half square triangle units, and I'll put them together, um, and they're not quite right. Also, I think um, I was being so cheap with my fabric because I'm so cheap with my fabric that um, I was shorting myself on some of my cutting with the AccuQuilt because there's waste. There's a lot of waste with the AccuQuilt, in my opinion. There's waste. Um, so. To cut that triangle, I needed really, to cut my, my sets of triangles, I really needed a six and a half inch strip. And I was like pushing it at six and a quarter. And sometimes some of my triangles are a little short. But um, I just cheat the seam allowance and we're all good to go. So brilliant idea. Um, I have um, put a squaring ruler or a block block lock ruler on a few of them just to make sure everything was good and everything's coming out great so I am not squaring up anything which is really helping this quilt go together quite seamlessly. So that is it for me and I'll see you guys next video.